Welcome, wanderlust travelers, to a virtual journey through the breathtaking landscapes and rich history of Afghanistan. From its rugged mountain ranges to its ancient cultural treasures, we're about to unveil the 15 best places to visit in this remarkable country. So, if you're ready to embark on an unforgettable adventure, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more travel inspiration. Let's dive right in. Number 15, Kandahar. The revered home of the Mosque of the Sacred Cloak and a city steeped in history, Kandahar sits at the crossroads where southern Afghanistan meets the mountains of the country's heartland. The traditional seat of Pashtun power, it was the capital of the last Afghan empire during the years of Ahmad Shah Durrani. Today, the place is filled with mosques, shrines, and mausoleums to luminaries from the national past and folk come to see the curious inscriptions of the great Mughal invader Babur on the Chilzina. View located just on the edges of the city. Number 14. Mazar-e-Sharif. The cobalt domes of the Great Blue Mosque shoulder their way above the skyline of Mazar e Sharif, glowing white hot under the scorching bulk sun. Famed as the burial site of Ali bin Talib, the cousin of the Prophet Muhammad himself, it's a gorgeous array of arabesque and South Asian architecture, complete with turquoise blue domes and gold peppered minarets. However, the Muslim history is just one aspect of Mazar-e-Sharif, because this city is also home to countless Greek relics, ones that found their way here with the coming of Alexander's armies in the 3 RD century BC. Number 13, Jalalabad. Founded like so many other cities in these parts by the Emperor Akbar, Jalalabad is a place where the passage of ancient time is virtually palpable. You can often just about make out the snowy peaks of the Safed mountain range on the horizon and imagine how the Mughal armies would have felt as they contemplated them way back in the 1500s. Closer to the city and the climate allows for citrus orchards and green parks something Jalalabad is known for. You can also see the mausoleum of King Amanullah Khan, join the locals for hotly contested cricket game, or just enjoy the manicured parks and gardens. Number 12, Balk. Hailed as the epicenter of the Bactrian Empire of old, the aged town of Balk has a history going back almost 4,000 years. In fact, it was here, high up in the gaps of the northern ridges of the Hindu Kush, that Zoroastrianism and Buddhism first flourished in these reaches. By the time the Venetian adventurer Marco Polo arrived in the 1300s, the town would have been razed and rebuilt many times, but memories of its great fortification walls and learning institutions would still have been ripe. Today, the town is hardly the noble capital it once was, but there is a certain palpable history to be found amidst the buzzing bazaars and emerald-hued green mosque. Number 11, Herat. It's easy to see why Herat, the third largest city in Afghanistan, has such a Persian flavor to it. The town sits just a stone's throw from the Iranian border, and it was once the home of the Timuride dynasty. The great piece de resistance of the city is the Friday Mosque. This elegant structure of turquoise-tipped minarets and shimmering tiles is sure to wow the senses it's thought to be more than eight centuries old. There's also the Herat Citadel to see, and the tombs of revered Sufi poets.
Number 10. Samangan. While the town of Samangan is an ancient caravan stop on the periphery routes of the old Silk Road, that claim to fame isn't actually its major draw. That honor goes to the mysterious cave complexes of Takdai Rostam that carve their way through the dusty ridges of the mountains nearby. These are thought to have been built in the 4th and 5th centuries AD and are adorned with gorgeous Buddhist inlays of lotus leaves, all focusing on an inner mud brick stupa. Number 9. Bamayan In ancient times, the place was known as a hub for Hindu-Buddhist worship, and it thrived with artisans, monasteries, and especially sculptors in the ages before the Muslim invasion. In fact, the two giant statues of the Buddha that stood here were considered some of the most elegant 4th and 5th century carvings in all of Asia. In March 2001, however, these great effigies were destroyed by the Taliban causing international outrage, and even prompting UNESCO to tag their remains to prevent further destruction. Number 8. Faisabad Backed by the cracked and chiseled passes of the mighty Hindu Kush, Faizabad sits hidden its very own remote enclave of the northern Afghan mountains. The location is what defines the town, giving it that rustic, backwater feel. You will see galumphing donkeys strutting the streets and beady eyed, bearded sheep farmers wandering the bazaars. You will meet local highlanders with feet worn by the trails of the Great Wakan Corridor. Number 7. Band-e-Amir National Park The breathtaking reaches of the Band-e-Amir became home to the first-ever national park in Afghanistan back in 2009. It's easy to see why, too. Peppered by no fewer than six individual mountain lakes perched more than 3,000 meters up in the rugged peaks of the Hindu Kush and forged by millennia of fascinating geological movements. The whole area is a wondrous place to behold. Hikers come in the spring and summer to wonder at the cobalt blue waters of Band A Paneer and the Band A Goloman. Number 6. Kabul. Kabul has been plunged in chaos since the takeover of the Mujahideen and Al Qaeda. The Taliban insurgents and other factions after the start of the country's modern wars. Despite the presence of peacekeeping forces, insurgents lurk in the shadows of the city, striking with bombs and attacks every now and then. It's a sad state of affairs for a capital with so much to offer. Kabul was once a cultural hotpot of Zoroastrianism and Buddhism. Later there were Hindus here and even Alexander the Great. Number 5. Kunduz Kunduz is actually little more than a transportation hub for travelers eager to cross the Tristate border in the north, where Tajikistan meets Uzbekistan meets Afghanistan. However, it does come enfolded in great swaths of verdant farmlands and has a down-to-earth, rustic ambience that's lost on the larger cities on this list. Unfortunately, more recent times have seen the tumult of the Afghan wars flare up again, near Kunduz. And there have been pitched battles between the Taliban, the army, and various insurgent groups. Number 4. Khyber Pass the Khyber Pass certainly falls into that wide category of places not currently on the menu for the traveler in Afghanistan, since at least 2007, the whole region here has been dominated by Taliban guerrillas, 
with Western aid and military convoys targeted specifically. However, or once the tensions lift and the war subsides, this high-perched stretch of land in the heights of the Spingar will certainly be worth the visit. Why? Well, because for centuries it's hosted armies and traders. They came on the Silk Road from China and the East, or they came in the form of awesome military leaders like Alexander the Great and Genghis Khan. Number 3. Panjshir Carving its way into the foothills of the Hindu Kush from the eastern provinces of Afghanistan, the Panjshir Valley is tipped to become one of the newfound industrial powerhouses of the nation. With American investment taking the lead, talk of everything from emerald mining to hydroelectric generation is being floated for these parts. However, for the time being, Panjshir remains the glorious medley of snow-topped mountains and winding rivers, verdant fields and rustic hamlets, it's always been except, that is, when the Soviets rolled this way during their invasion in the 1980s. Number 2. Bagram Although the small eastern city of Bagram located just a stone's throw from both Kabul the capital and the rises of the Hindu Kush, is perhaps best known to modern onlookers as the site of the largest allied military base in the country. This one's story actually goes a lot deeper than that. For starters, the town was conquered in the 300 SBC by none other than Alexander the Great, who subsequently made changes to its layout in the Grecian manner. Number 1. Talakan Talokane sits in the shadow of the colossal Hindu Kush, just over the mountains from the Pashtun regions of southern Afghanistan. It's thought that the surrounding valleys have been occupied for more than a millennium, a fact revealed by the narrations of one Marco Polo who passed this way in 1275. However, the, the Talakane of today is a more modern place with markets bustling with shoppers and mules meeting purring tuk-tuks in the street. From the majestic beauty of the Pamir Mountains to the awe-inspiring architecture of Herat's historical sites, Afghanistan is truly a hidden gem waiting to be explored. We hope you enjoyed this tour of the 15 best places to visit in Afghanistan. If you found this journey as mesmerizing as we did, remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stay tuned for more travel guides and adventures. Until next time, keep exploring and keep dreaming. Safe travels!